Oh, oh, those legs are way too human. Those legs are, oh my God, those legs look like I could have those legs. Please don't show that to me anymore. Please get, get it out of here. Stop. A real life human girlfriend named Madonna. And we all know that Sega would never make Sonic kiss a, a real human woman. Nope! This Bible has had very little bearing on the series as a whole. A holy sword so that I might excise sin out from the Sonic canon! Let's get sonically fundamental. And five, they have a very similar diet to me. Sonic, the lighthearted hedgehog we all know and love, never knew his father because he was reduced to sludge thanks to corporate pollution. The potential energy I shall release into a holy flame so that I might burn out the blasphemy from Sonic's modern iteration! There are three that specifically decanonize every game in the Sonic franchise. Every time you pick your nose instead of using a tissue, that's in the emerald. Every time you wear your underwear five times in a week because you think it doesn't smell that bad, that's in the emerald. Every time you go three days without shampooing, I get it. Look, sometimes, you know, the shampoo has sulfates and that can damage your hair. We all have different scalps. But that's in the emerald too! You got a chaos emerald. You should probably go wash your hands now. I hear you saying, Brian, there's no evidence that Sonic doesn't think of Robotnik as a father figure. And to that I say bullshit! Let Sonic cry over the loss of what could have been, Sega, you cowards! Sonic helps quilters. Where is my Sonic game with a quilting circle? Sonic CD, shitty. Sonic Mania, trash. Sonic Hedgehog 2, more like Sonic the Hedgehog 2, much of a dunce to include the quilting circle that is so integral to Sonic's backstory. So the game is basically an evil polluting scientist being taken down by a Midwestern teenage hedgehog track star with daddy issues, and that would destroy the world, and yet he is able to do that without harming himself or those around him. But like most peaceful times in the 21st century, it didn't last long. This Bible was written in 1991. They could only fit in a religion. Brian, aren't you just starting a cult? Look at this question answered by cute girl core. Technically speaking, religions and cults are the same. Thing. I have a confession. I've never played a Sonic game. Only someone blind to the modern blasphemies of the Sonic franchise could see as clearly as I. Because if a hedgehog could commune with the dead, be resurrected, run with infinite energy, and have his gospel prophesy the future, then either Sonic is a god or could kill God, and I do not care if there is a difference! Hello friends. I've taken some time and cooled down since the filming of this video, and though I suppose I could have just not uploaded it to YouTube, I decided it would serve well as a cautionary tale. So let's learn from this example, and make sure to take new additions to our favorite things in stride, even if it's these legs. I'm sorry, I can't in good conscience agree with that. I do not agree with those legs. I'm sorry. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. That's the battlefield? Seriously? How did they get permits for that? That's irresponsible. Safety fan and bureaucratic wunderkind, please address me as such. So let's go ahead and find every OSHA violation in every stage in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And also the hellscape I had to slog through the past week. That's a real line. Am I safe to smash? I, I wouldn't waste paper like that. And thanks, nshady 16 for making me read 684 pages of OSHA regulations. You piece of garbage! Unfortunately, this also meant I had to cut the entirety of subsection R, steel erection. Uh, so there goes like 80% of the jokes in this video. But I just want you to keep in mind that there is a maximum penalty of $12,934 per OSHA violation. We'll get into that later. Unfortunately, all of the gym members get injured. And also, you have to have exits that don't involve plummeting to your death. Look at this polar bear. He has no fucking clue what's going on. Not everyone can double jump. And I have yet to find a Smash Brothers stage that includes a restroom. And I need to know where Donkey Kong pees. <laughs> Yikes. Stop jumping. I don't care that you got a big dog f running around behind you. Put the, put the blocks away. That's debris. Put your toys away, honey. I don't care what it's made of. 
you shouldn't be breathing that in. But in PictoChat 2, there is too much ventilation in the form of this man who blows air. Who hired this man? I don't want him on my job site. WarioWare Inc. is one big elevator. You don't need me to tell you it's broken. You're not supposed to be working underneath hovering craft, even if they're bringing you fruit. I don't care how good you are at surfing, Funky Kong. None of them will save you. There are no acceptable entry conditions into a space with a pit full of acid. I couldn't give a shit about death. Your mom fires lasers at you when she sees you gaming. Just let me game, mom. You cannot hide your ladders from me. There is a large ape. Again, I could not categorize that, but I know he shouldn't have been there. It seems like I have a tall task ahead of me. For a little company called Disney, why don't you ask Timon and Pumbaa? They fr they're from The Lion King. That was a movie that Disney produced. A lot of people think it's a great movie. Or as true literary critics call it, Boarding the Gummy Ship. You yeah, gotta uh, Birth by Sleep. It's a prequel. But is Sora in it? No. No, Sora. Who's this guy then? That's Vanitas. Why? Because he gets norted, so he's not that good of a hero. And then we start five immediately at Kingdom Hearts 2, which will begin with Sora going nope. into... What do you mean, nope? There's two more. We're gonna make this easy to remember and call it the Hero's Memories of the Hero's Journey Double Cross Oblong or HMHJXXO. I'm just gonna call that the Anti-Hero's Cradle. The contents of which will be revealed in... Kingdom Hearts 3? No. Fuck! All right, assholes. I have no more space here, so I made you a data cube. Are you happy? And then at the same time, we also have Dream Drop Distance, which is another hero's journey inside of the hero's journey, and it's part of seizing the sword because they have to go into sleeping versions of the worlds they've already been to, but also maybe they're, they're going into each other's dreams and one of them is... No, it doesn't fit here. I've got a better... There's another part of the hero's journey and it's called the dream drop bucket. And it's where you put the dream drop distance until you need it later and hopefully you won't. The villain's tridecagon is definitely the key. The tridecagon of villainy. This is a 13-sided shape that goes one further than the dodecagon of the hero's journey. What do you do? After you find out about that power, you Nord a boy. That's right, it's time for Nord Boy Redux, stage eight. But don't let that failure get you down, it's time for stage 10. You develop an organization to trick young boy into committing heartless genocide in order to create a new pseudo version of that great power you discovered back in stage three. Donald will kill Goofy by throwing him off a dock. Riku will start cutting his own bangs. Kyrie will continue to not matter. So the next time someone tells you, I don't understand Kingdom Hearts, you say, hey bucko, I think what you don't understand is basic storytelling. Basic storytelling. Which is why I am not expressing an opinion, I am stating a fact. That's a fool's errand, Brian. You are a fool. They called me a fool. But do I look like a fool to you? I've done it. Fight me. And we finished our chat with the reassurance that this formula was not only going to help the gaming community, but the scientific community at large. How about them graphics? But how many frames does a gamer game in the game frame mainframe? That's a good question. Hey, this is a thing. Don't worry, we're gonna bring these numbers down to size because some of the descriptions you sent in were actually pretty negative descriptions of games. So I did a Google search using those descriptions, and then I multiplied those results by one plus the number of Funko Pops made of characters in the game, which is objectively a terrible thing. The mom variable, which stands for my own mother. So I called my own mother for help. Hello, Brian. I'm, I'm a follower and a subscriber as well as your mother. That's very good to hear. I and You support me so well and I appreciate that. When I play Mario Kart with like grandchildren and things like that, I 
always go off the road. That's I, but and, on purpose to let them very feel better. Similar to my real life driving <laughs> skills, I find. Uh, uh, this, is a, this is a lot of research into things that really have very little meaning. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Which is why I'm not proving greatness. Instead, this part of the formula is so revolutionary because I am proving art. So let's go ahead and throw this into. Shit, I ran out of space. You know what, this part wasn't that important. We're just gonna cut it. And I will come back to you right now. December 30th, New Year is at our doorstep. Knock, knock, who's there? It's 2019, come on in. Hope you're not as big of an asshole as the past few of your friends. But 2018's scientifically calculated game of the year with 19 trillion BDGs is Fortnite. That can't be the right number. I'm gonna, no, that's right. You know Tetris. You would really like this Tetris. No, I stand by that decision. And even when your Uncle Devin comes up to you at the holiday get-together and says, Hey, Brian, what in the heck is this Fortnite thing? It gives you a common ground to chat, and you really haven't chatted with Uncle Devin in a while. You should call him more often. He wants to show you his Civil War books and his collection of swords. Happy New Year. Oh! Oh my god, that is so hot!